What is the best photo book? We're reviewing photo books from Walmart, Costco, Walgreens, Snapfish, Mixbook, Shutterfly, Sal Digital, and Google, tons of them. We'll be looking at the book quality, but first the price and the apps and websites to create them because I do have a secret. I found that some of them get printed at the same location. I'm a big fan of getting wall prints and books made of our photos. As you can see, we have a ton of them. It's great posting them to all the socials, but there's something about having them in a physical form where they don't get buried and you can pick them up and take a look at them. Let me know in the comments below what you do with your photos. To compare them, I created photo books using pictures of snowflakes I took this past winter. They are crazy interesting. I really hope you enjoy them as much as I do. First up is price, and let me say, do not pay full price for most of these photo books. They run sales all the time, and the only two that I paid full price for were Google and Costco. I do want to disclose that I did get a credit for the Sal Digital book, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but I did pay some of my own money for that book as well. But this does make it very hard to compare them because they have sales running all the time. And let me give you an example. Just look at this book from Shutterfly. It originally cost $193, but after free extra pages, a discount, free shipping, it comes down to right around $27 with tax shipped to my door. Again, do not pay full price for these books. Focusing in on eight by eight books or the closest offering each company has, here is a breakdown of the retail price for what it's worth. Again, these prices will vary a ton based on the promotions going on, so I'll make sure to put a link in the description below to each one of them so you can check them out for yourself. The apps and websites used to create and design these books can vary greatly or be very close to the same depending on which ones we're talking about. Every one of these here can use a website to design and create them. In my opinion, the website has the most control over every little detail making sure it's just perfect, and that's my preferred method. Maybe I'm just a control freak. All of them also can be done with a mobile device. Five of them have apps. Four of them have really nice mobile websites that work just as well. And then Sal Digital actually has a separate application you can install on your computer, or you can actually create full pages and send them into them to get printed if that's something you would like as well. The next obvious thing is you need your photos in their platform so you can use them. All of these, you can use your mobile device or your computer to directly import them into their platform to start using them to design your books, with the exception of Google Photo Books, which needs a Google Photo Album. And speaking of those different ecosystems, there's a lot of them that do have compatibility with Google Photos, as well as Facebook and Instagram. Walmart actually has the greatest variety that it works with, including Flickr and Dropbox. And Shutterfly also has some different varieties where you can share albums with other users to share pictures. And it also works with LifeTouch, which is what our school system uses with school pictures, so we can bring those in as well. This one really depends on your preference and what ecosystem you like to use to handle your photos. So it's really hard to judge this one and say what's best for you. You know yourself the best. Now we're ready to create the photo book. There's typically three different types of books that people are looking to make. The first is where people just take some pictures, plop them, I mean, organize them quickly into a book, hit purchase, and it comes to the door, very simple. The second are professional books, such as wedding albums, portfolios, where someone's trying to show off their work or sell their work to someone else, and the third, which we've done a ton of, we have over 40 of them back there, which are more the scrapbook type books that have embellishments, they have stickers, they have text that show the story, and go along with it, and it's a bit more involved whenever you're creating them because you want everything just right. For the basic photo book, you want something fast and simple, quick and easy. How many ways can I say the same thing? Easy peasy. You just want to plop these photos really quickly down. You want to maybe arrange them a couple times, maybe just add a little bit of text here and there, but that's it. You want to keep it simple. If this is what you want to do, you're in luck because all the companies offer the autofill option where you just select some pictures, click a button, and it's going to create a book for you. From there, you can rearrange the pages, perhaps change some layouts, add a little text, and you can hit purchase and you have a book ready to go. There are some differences between them though, let's talk about those real quick quick. If you want a ton of pictures on a single page, Shutterfly offers a lot of pictures, like 25 pictures with a layout, where ones like Google and Walgreens only offer four pictures on a standard layout without having to get in there and manually move photos around and keep plopping them on there. It gets more involved. The other thing is 
Most of them offer different themes that you can do as well. So if you want some sort of look and feel and a little bit more excitement with your book, you can do that and do that autofill method and have a book that looks a little bit more unique and different. I will say that the Sal digital one is probably the least impressive when it comes to the themes. For professional photo books, the number one thing I'm looking for is complete control over the design down to the barcode on the back. And a few things I'm looking for here is number one, the ability to have pictures that spread across two pages at the same time. And number two is the logo and the barcode on the back. As far as the picture spreading both pages, you can do this on all the different platforms except for Walmart and Google Photos. The other ones you may, if you have some troubles on them, a tip I have for you is delete the layouts completely, drag a picture on there and then drag it across both pages and it should do what you want it to do. The second thing is the logos and the barcode. Now Shutterfly does have this option where you can do an upcharge and get rid of the logo, but the barcode still remains. And Sal Digital has an option which allows you not to have any sort of logo or barcode on it. It's completely yours an unbranded book that you can use to sell or show off your work. The other thing Sal Digital offers to professionals is a PSD template that allows you to use InDesign or Photoshop to custom create every page exactly how you want it and then upload it and get it printed. If you're looking to make a scrapbook that tells a story, what you're looking for are a variety of layouts, text, as well as stickers and embellishments that you can quickly drag and drop and get what's in your head to the paper as quick as possible and also help with your creativity along the way. The number one suggestion that we have, which we've used for all these, is Shutterfly. Shutterfly has a huge selection of embellishments and different layouts and all sorts of options that you can use to create the books. And what you can also do is upgrade, so be careful there, and get some more embellishments that you can add to these books, which they will charge you for those. There are some of them like the metallic cover pieces that get really expensive, so be careful there. Second to Shutterfly would be Mixbook, Snapfish, and Walgreens. They have a good selection as well, so take a look at those. The rest of them I would probably stay away from if you're trying to get real creative and create scrapbook stories. I don't know if you caught this trend along the way, but I did find that Snapfish and Walgreens, their websites were laid out very similar to each other and had a lot of similar functionality. Now on to the actual physical books. And speaking of Walgreens and Snapfish, I received two books on the same day with very similar packaging, similar packaging slips with different logos on them. And the books look near identical except for the photos I selected for them because they came from the same address and the same printing house. So Walgreens and Snapfish appear to use the same printing house, which is fine. I think a lot of these companies do outsource them to different contractors, but just keep in mind that whenever you're getting these printed, that they may go to different places before they come into you. So it's really the app and the website and the printing all combined that set these different ones apart. And also if they change where they get it printed, that could affect the quality down the road. For the covers, there are soft covers and hard covers. Where soft covers come in are for a little bit cheaper, more minimalistic, but they are not gonna protect the inside pages as well as a hard cover. For hard covers, there are more glossy type finishes, which are a nice protection and keep things looking pretty nice, but I really like these new matte finishes, which don't have a glare to them, and it almost has like a slight rubbery feel to it. And then Sal Digital has a whole new level, which is for their professional line, which are these acrylic covers, which looks like something I should be putting on my wall and not on a book. But if you're looking for a portfolio, a wedding album, things like that, this is amazing. They also offer those soft covers that are a little bit more poofy that you expect with wedding albums. So there are a lot of different options out there for these different books. For bindings, the standard binding is like any other book where they're held together and there is a bit here that you cannot see very well whenever you open it up. It's not a big deal and it's fine for most picture books that you're gonna create. But if you want something that's the next level up, you get the lay flat. This is gonna allow you to put a book on a table and the pages to stay more or less right where you want them. And the other thing you can do with lay flats is you can get a better seamless two page spread of a picture that looks just amazing. 
Again, I don't think it's necessary for most photo books. I think the standard binding is just fine, but if you are looking for those spreads or there's details in those creases that you're gonna miss out on, maybe do that upgrade. Just a side note, some of these snowflakes are crazy. This one looks like hummingbirds drinking out of a flower. This one I call gingerbread alien, because, well, you can see why. Now for the most difficult part, which is the image quality review. This is extremely subjective, so let me start by saying this. The average person would be happy with any of these. They're gonna pick up their book, they're gonna be thrilled with the quality, they're gonna show it off to people, and they're gonna be thrilled with it as well. Printing has gotten really good over the years, so there's a small difference between these. It's not a humongous difference. But since I had to review it and put them in different sections, this is where I have them. So that's the caveat on there. So those that are the pickiest of the pickiest, let me tell you my breakdown. On the low end, I have Costco, and the reason for that is that the black wasn't as deep of a black as the other ones. There's a slight coloring to it. And again, if you don't have it next to the other ones, you would never notice this, but there is just a slight different color to the black. It's not as deep. In the middle, we have Walmart, Snapfish, Walgreens, and Google Photos. These, you'll all be thrilled with the quality. You'll be happy with them, but they're just not quite as good as the top of the top. And for the top of the top, I have Shutterfly, Mixbook, and Sal Digital. I had these at the top. Now I will note of all these, there was some slightly different thing that I noticed as well, is that Shutterfly and Google Photos, there was maybe the finish on it, I'd say, or that it's kind of like a texture or there's something on it that you can see there. It doesn't bother me at all, but take a look at it, see if that's something that would bother you. This is very close between all of these. They're all pretty good though. After creating all the books and pouring through all the details, let me get to my recommendations and let me know in the comments below which ones you would recommend. First up is the quick and easy, and I'm gonna pick Shutterfly and Mixbook for those, followed closely behind by whichever one is the cheapest. If you're just the average user, you're gonna be happy with any of them, so browse around, see which one has the best deal, and go with that. If you want ultra simplistic, ultra minimalistic, Google is there for you for that. For the second thing is the most professional one. I would go with Sal Digital. They have the most professional offerings and options with all those different cover options. They are absolutely beautiful. And the third, which is the scrapbook, I would go with Shutterfly and continue going with Shutterfly as we have for 40 plus books. The options there, they're just great. It's vast. It works well. There are some little hiccups that we get annoyed with, but Shutterfly has been a constant good source for these books. Followed closely behind Mixbook, Walgreens, and Snapfish, and then the other ones beyond there. You can look at them if you're interested. 